What's up, my beautiful nieces and nephews? <clears throat> Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, we're just going to find out what is the karmic energy that's coming towards you, that's around you. Um, this could be some energy that's in the past, or this could be some energy that's coming towards you, or this could be some energy currently. So, this could be a partner, this could be a family member, this could be your person's ex-partner, this could be your ex-partner. Um, it can be a family member, a neighbor, a teacher, a boss, a co-worker, supervisor, it could be anybody. You have to take the energy where it resonates with you. So, only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. I'm not going to do a lot of talking through this reading. I'm just going to play this song and let the song play. And shuffle and deal the cards. Okay. Girl, just let your head down. Town. Life is our playground, yeah. But I'm not a kid no more, so I must open doors and make you feel like the lady you are. Some of you may I'm resonate with this song. I feel like this is a divine master singing to his divine feminine. This is something a divine masculine would be singing. Make the divine masculine. There's somebody out there spying on you. If you have social media, they're watching your social media and they're taking screenshots. Just cause I'm a gentleman don't mean I'm taking you 
I want to keep that song playing. I like it. I believe that it's saying like that that's uh, a divine masculine energy. Because the guys nowadays, they're karmic energies. They do you wrong. They won't even open the door for you. They don't buy flowers for you or anything like that. It's like they just want a quick, a quick nut. So I'm a, I'm a just keep letting this song play. I took it off of my TV, so that shouldn't be all loud. Girl, Okay. Three more cards. So this is a general reading, okay? Five, five, five on the clock. These are different energies I see out here. Now, for some of you, this could be energies. This could be family members. This this could be lovers. This could be ex-lovers. Uh, this could be neighbors. This could be just somebody you fooled around with. It could be anybody. But um, I see an energy of a feminine. It's 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 when I see this card. When I see this card, she's a um she likes to fool fool with men that are in committed relationships and um for some reason whoever this feminine energy is she's a karmic okay she's a karmic and she's got around somebody's man and she's trying to figure out something she's is is she's trying to figure out something okay this is somebody they have no creativity and they trying to figure your you out this person <laughs> this person they they you you must you you have double you have extra talent or extra gifts or something and whoever this person is they're around you and you haven't isolated yourself from this person and this person is trying to figure out how whatever it is if you play an instrument or something or if you draw something um, if you write, if you whatever it is that you do, that's your talent or your skill. They're trying to figure it out. They're copying you. Mm -hmm. And if you have a social media, this is for me too. If you have a social media, when I say somebody is spying, they're taking screenshots and shit. So if you know you have a now, this energy could be a masculine energy or it could be a feminine. Because these two cards out here, this is a, a masculine energy. He's a sex vampire. Okay. And um, he's holding a ball of fire in his hand, which represents your sacral chakra, your sacral chakra and your solar plexus. Your joy, your happiness, your sexual creativity and all of that good shit. And he's also trying to drain you sexually. Um by trying to take um trying to fuck with your crown chakra see this is an energy vampire and he has a demonic attachment so if you're not awakened he can he can attack your crown chakra when you're when you're intimate with him okay and that's for the feminine energies and for you masculine energies this is this is the uh i call her the whole the thought the side piece she gets you caught up in her venus flytrap She's very manipulative. She she's has the uh, she's had she has charm and charisma. Okay, and she goes after men who's who's in um, committed relationships or married. See, she don't she she likes to compete with other women. So I don't know who this is collective, but this is somebody trying to figure you out. Okay, if you can see this typewriter. This is a typewriter that this monkey is holding. So he's taking notes. And with that brain, that skull in his hand, he's trying to either pick somebody's brain or try to find something out. 
And this is a karmic energy that surrounds you. See, so the collective, you have to have some sort of gift or talent. You may be an entrepreneur, entrepreneur. You may own some sort of business. You may stitch something 10, 10 on the clock, something. This may be somebody you came, they came to an end. You ended something with this person. Or this could be somebody your person is dealing with. Your person could be an energy vampire, and he could have fucked around with this, uh, I call her a barfly. He could have fucked around with her, and they're transport, transmuting, transporting, wait, what's the word? Something switching energy, sexually, okay? And see, so you're, you're creative. This is a creative card to me, okay? And this also is a creative card. So with these cards out here both in reverse, I set them up right, but them both being in reverse, somebody plays some sort of instrument or something. It could be some sort of stringed instrument or something, whatever it is, somebody may have said you're foolish or you can't play or something. But with them green, the green um, sleeves, to me that represents your hands can make money with whatever this is that they saying is foolish that you can't play. But you can be laughing your ass right all the way, on the way to the bank. Okay? With whatever they calling you a fool. This new beginning, this new journey. Okay? This new leap of faith that someone is telling you that you're a fool. It's going to make you money. And it could have something to do with starting a new business. It could have something to do with you stitching clothes together. Stitching something. Stitching things. Fixing things or something. Okay? And, and you may be being sidetracked if you're masculine. You may be being sidetracked by a feminine bar fly. You may have met her at a bar. Could have given her your phone number or something. But don't let this energy get you. You shouldn't have gave her your phone number. Because she's going to be the one that calls your phone at night. And she know if you done told her you got a woman and you're not trying to. She's going she's gonna to pretend like she just wants to be friend with you, friends with you. But she's actually, you know, um, she's, uh, damn, what's the word? Um, I can't think of the fucking word. That's crazy. She's basically, you know, manipulating a way to get in. And then she's going to try to blackmail you some sort of way. She's going to try to fuck you. Okay. Then she's going to try to fuck you. I mean, manipulate you. Into, in, into making you give her money and doing things she want or she going to tell your wife. That's why you see a lot of these women that be getting killed because they be a side piece and then they go threatening these men and these men done had, you know, long relationships and they fuck up and cheat with them and then they get these women and they end up killing them. Where all that woman had to do, that, that karmic energy had to do was just leave that man alone and it, they be going psycho. All of this type of energy. This is what this barfly represents. Getting people entangled in her Venus flytrap. Okay. Buzzing around like the fly. And the flies love shit. Okay. So, whoever this karmic energy is, she's trying to figure you out, collector. Because she has the only thing she can. Only thing that she has to offer is her body. You hear me? She don't have nothing to offer. She's she's an energy vampire also. Okay, so masculine. This could be her her. This could be one person, male or female. Okay, this barfly energy vampire. Both of them are 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 the same. Okay, she's just a version of the female and he's a version of the male. They break up families and long-term relationships. They they hunt people in long-term relationships because they have a demonic possession that was sent to break up your relationship with your divine counterpart. Okay, and some of you, you have this feminine or either one of these is the one that's calling you a fool, telling you not to take a leap of faith in some sort of situation. Um, not to show your creativity. Whoever this person is, they're around you and you need to isolate yourself from them. You need to stay away from them because they're, why they're telling you not something that you shouldn't do. They're copying because they're trying to do it before you. 
Okay? And this could be somebody you're sleeping with. This could be somebody your person is sleeping with. This could be some something that you're unaware that's going on around you. So you need to pay attention, get you a... a get yourself a, a, <coughs> a crystal quartz. Okay. So you can get clarity in who these people are. Okay. This is the energy. Whoever this feminine or this masculine energy, that's the energy vampires. For some of you, this could be an aunt, an older sister that want to treat you like a child and telling you, you know, running your life, telling you, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that with your talent and your skills because they can't do it. Okay. And I'm asking everybody to please hit that thumbs up button to energetically 1616. Donate to my channel. Okay, there's here's the energy of someone who's um some sort of uh escort okay maybe you're a dancer or something feminine energy somebody is a dancer or oh you're not a dancer you may be you may be a dancer but this karmic energy this barfly energy when she dances, she she has sold her soul. Okay. She has sold her soul because she sold her body. She has slept. She's selling her soul. When she's dancing, she's she's doing more than dancing. This is why. They say chivalry is dead. If she's dancing, if this karmic energy, them men in them clubs, they don't they don't be respectful. They call you bitches and hoes and all of that shit, and they be, you know, these women be down sucking dick for some change. Those those are. I ain't even going to go there. I'm, I'm just going to stay on the read. I'm not going to be trying to teach nobody nothing. I'm just going to keep on reading. But whoever this karmic energy is that's around you. Whoever this, this karmic energy is, she has low self-esteem. And the, the funny thing about it is, the crazy thing, she's sad that, like if your masculine is a, a sneaky snake, She's is or if she's the sneaky snake, she she wants to tempt him with sex. But it's in reverse. It's like her temptation ain't working. Now for some of you, your masculine could be the one and he could be a male escort but he's turning her down it's like she's trying to get him to fuck her for free now that's not for everybody's masculine everybody's masculine 
is not out there male escort. But for those of you that you, you feel that your masculine is out there throwing that dick around getting paid for it. This particular karmic, she's been trying to tempt him and, and he don't want her. Possibly because he see that, yeah, he don't want her. Because she is is like she she has no she only thing she has to use is her body. She don't know how to use her brain. She don't have no skills. She's not creative. She would basically be codependent. And what this masculine looks at is you will walk past you you walk past this type of energy very bougie and you walk high with your head in the hair because you walk on with your three spirit gods, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this karmic, she don't hold a, 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 a lighter to a candle or a flicker to a flame. She don't compare to you. She has no skill. So she could be somebody who targeted your person to try to fuck him to get some of your energy because she know him and you. And yes, this type of stuff does happen because these are demons. People get demons jump into people. They have demons are out here for specific reasons. Every demon has this a specific purpose. Do you understand that? So this particular demon used this, these karmic women, okay, karmic masculine men and woman. They use them to get to the chosen ones, to get to the light ones, the light workers, the people who believes in God the Most High, the spiritual and religious. These type of demons come after. Okay, so whoever the she is, she has no talent, no skills, and no creativity. She's no, she don't have the mind to to be an entrepreneur or nothing like that. She just goes around and steals um, energy. And and again, this this comes in the form of masculine and feminine. This is just the energy. This is that's out here. This is nobody's personal reading. This is what's going on. You need to be aware of this energy and look out for it. Okay? The person who carries this energy. Okay, Holy Spirit, tell me some more about this karmic energy, this devil in a red dress, and this uh, vampire energy. Tell me more about these, these two. What's the energy that they carry? What is the energy of these? Wow. Okay, so somebody, this is a karmic feminine. Now, this karmic feminine can be your person's ex somebody he she could be an ex-wife an ex-girlfriend um a, a side piece the ex side piece um somebody you know he had a one night stand with whoever she is you see she's looking out the window so she's still she's still looking for your person so let's see let's 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 she's looking out the window let's see what she's looking out the window Okay, what is this part? Oh, a snake. She's looking at a snake. And this snake must be close to her house. Because this snake is in a tree. Tell me about this snake in this tree. So, as I channel this message, this karmic is looking at this snake, okay, and and okay, like y'all, I'm 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 an um, intuitive reader. So when I see these two cards, she's looking at this snake out this window. So this can represent, see, this these this this snake right here. This is a snake that. All of these fruit represents the temptation. 
So, this means this is a bunch of women. A bunch of temptation that she can look out of her window and see. So she may live in some apartments or something where it's a lot of beautiful women that uh, he don't, you know, they're young, they're old. Um, he don't care if they good fruit or bad, but you see how that snake is, snake is biting? And he'll have sex with these, these fruit. The fruit represents the temptation, the women around. And this is what this karmic energy, she's looking out the window at all the temptation. Okay, now, this could be, this, I don't know if this is the same barfly energy, but this is another deck. This is, the, the barfly is somebody your person met at a bar. This energy right here is an ex, and she's looking at a snake. Now, I don't, we're going to find out who this snake is. Oh, we have an apology here. She's looking at this snake apologizing. Who is these flowers for? She see him giving some flowers to somebody. Who's the flowers for? Holy Spirit, who's the flowers? Some roses. Oh, okay. So somebody's person is, is like famous or well-known or something. And they're in this, this, this is a different, a different energy y'all now. Okay. But somebody's, somebody is, is, is somebody's person is, is well-known, like a famous type of energy, but they're a snake. They got multiple options out there. And whoever this ex is. She's looking out the window, and this masculine man, man, he could be an Aquarius energy, but whoever he is, he's he's um, giving flowers to people. He may be singing this song. Shiver is dead, so he's giving out flowers. She's looking out the window. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Okay, this is for those, some of you out there. If you're masculine or your ex-masculine, I told you is out there slinging that dick. That's why he's giving the flowers away. He been fooling around with females in her yard, in her, her neighborhood. And she can see him giving flowers or or. Sending flowers to, he's getting flowers delivered to people's houses in her neighborhood. I can face now. So, yeah, this, this karmic energy, somebody's ex is looking out the window at the ex snake. Okay. Give roses or delivering. Sending flowers to somebody's house. This is somebody famous. Mm. They could be married. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this karmic ex, this ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, ex-baby mama. Ooh. Manipulation, spell work. Tell me about the spell work. This karmic energy could have got some of this masculine's hair. Fiery bridge that she don't want to cross. She could have been gossiping or there's no gossip about this masculine. She could have been telling everybody, you know, things about what this masculine was giving her roses, but he's giving roses to everybody in her neighborhood, and she's feeling trapped. She ain't telling nobody that though. She didn't. She didn't know she was going down this bridge. 
So this is somebody's ex-wife and the masculine is the karmic. She could be a karmic too. But I believe this is a different story. In this karmic energy, she's looking at her masculine. He's the snake. Girl, just let your down. Yeah, this is somebody she's been going back and forth with. Mm-hmm. Show me more. But she was trying to do some sort of spell work. And, and I guess it's... Whatever, whatever this masculine is doing, it's, it's, it's part of her, it's, it's a, it's karma, basically, okay, and she ain't telling nobody, but she's trapped in the situation, she could have married this masculine, yes, yeah, some secrets came out, mm-hmm, tell me more, I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up button for me. There's a house. Secrets card. Again, secrets came out. Yeah, this is this is this karmic is 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 uh her and this masculine may share a house. And she's looking at, at all the hoes or possibly all the female energies, all the temptation that's in the neighborhood that she didn't move in. Mm-hmm. Or he didn't move in. She could be saying she not going back and forth visiting him no more because it's too much it's too much females out there. Now, for some of you, it's a it could be a, a a feminine energy that's looking and waiting for your masculine, and she's horny, and she could be looking out the window at him, giving roses to other people. She could be somebody new that moved in your neighborhood, but whoever she is, she's looking out the window and she's looking at this snake, but she's lusting after him. So she looks at him like a star. She could be a Leo or she could be an Aquarius or you could be somebody is an Aquarius and somebody is a Leo out here. Okay. But the sun is in reverse. This karmic is not happy about this. Okay. Take it where it resonates. She could be, it could be her masculine who's, who's, you know, he don't actually have to be giving roses to the other women, but he may be real nice and cheerful and handsome, but he a snake. He a sleep with him if he could. She's she's in the house with him and she ain't telling him, telling this. Okay, so for some of you, this could be part two of where this masculine married this karmic energy because of spell work, and this is her version what she's going through. She's not happy because this masculine, even though she he, she did some sort of spell work, he's going he's still going after temptation. She's getting karma. She she's like if she was going back and forth with him, they got married or something secretly, or she secretly seen him doing some shit, some secrets that came out, and she not happy. But this is karma. This is somebody's karmic ex. Now she's feeling like she made a bad choice. Again. Secrets and deception is coming to the light. Okay. And <laughs> I feel like this is karma. Because this is somebody's karmic ex. Uh, side piece of something. And if she took your man. she Your man. If he cheated on you with her. It was others. So this is your ex. So like I said. If you watch my little short I did. She, uh, she thought she took your man. But she actually took a karma. Check that little short out I did. Okay. You like, fuck, fuck my ex. You can keep that nigga. Okay. Some secrets then came out. And now she's looking at the snake. It's secrets and deception. She's not happy. She's trapped in the situation. Mm-hmm. This masculine may want to spend time with you. Yeah, he being sneaky. Mm -hmm. 
She's not happy at all. See, she thought she was being sneaky. <laughs> and thought some shit wasn't going to come to the light about her. But she just found out some shit about this mask. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this karmic energy. She's having the worst luck ever. She's having bad luck. See, when she got with this masculine, he he treated her with respect, you know, like um, like she was she he treated her like nobody had ever treated her before. Now that it she feels like he's treating her worse than anybody has ever treated her. That's how the tables turn. She may be wanting to apologize to you. Because when, when this masculine was with you and he was, you know, looking at all the fruit on the tree, you was one of them fruit. You was nice and ripe. <laughs> I believe this snake also slithered up some, some rose thorns. Or somebody feel like they've been, you know, poked by a rose thorn. Yeah, so I feel like this is this this karmic energy. If she had something to do with your relationship, and she somehow got your masculine to be committed to her or something, or to come visit her, stay at her house, or she go to his house. Somebody's somebody she's looking out the window at all the temptation. And for others of you, it's a karmic energy that's looking at your masculine as temptation. So take it where it resonates. And these are different stories. So you only take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else. I'll see you in the next reading. Peace.